Hi, welcome to Messy Missy Creates. This is Melissa. I am doing our week four prompt challenge, our inspired to create. And I never have it out here when I need it written down. Um, so I will have to do that. But I also have a happy mail from Allison. Um, this week we chose the word friend and let me write this out. Let's see. Which marker do I want to use today? Oh, let's go. Let's go with this bright yellow one. And I'm going to do. Uh, can you see that? Yeah. Kind of, sort of. Inspired to create underscore well I always run myself off the page FEB 2023 and I don't even know if you can read that actually in that yellow but that's what it is and we are going to fix that glitch that we had in the hashtag before we do this again so don't worry about that but um, I, the reason why I have Happy Mail from Allison is because we swapped, we actually swapped physical prompts this month and we chose the word friend. So under this piece of paper is our addresses, but there's also this beautiful dyed doily that now I have to figure out how to get it out from underneath this tape and use it in my journal. But I'm gonna pull this stuff out Okay, put this to the side. To Melissa, happy week four prompts. All right, so here's our, here's our prompts, but I'm going to set them to the side. Actually, let's see, yeah. And, oh, a birthday card. Oh, how pretty. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. That's so sweet. I love that envelope. I love that card. But you know, we see envelopes in a different light, right? Oh, look at this. Ooh, and look at all that pretty washi tape. All right, but first, washi tape. Let's see, make sure I'm getting this, okay. One time, but save the washi tape. Hold on. Rescue the washi tape. Okay. Let me find somewhere I can put it right here on my table. Somewhere it will stick, but I can get it back up. Okay. Reminds me one time I um, was cooking turkey for like 30 family members. And uh, I had a really big, it was almost a 30 pound turkey. And I had, all I had was a 25 pound pan. You know, I caught my oven on fire. That was the short, short version of that. And my mom comes running in yelling, save the gravy. Anyway, we were, we were trying to put out a fire. So anyway, that's what I thought about when I said save the washi. Oh, cool. Oh, how beautiful. Sweet Williams and Zinnias and Sunny Area Wildflower Blend. You know, I'm actually going to section off, my husband doesn't know this yet, I'm going to section off an area of my front yard and fence it off so that he can't mow it or cut it, cut the grass, and I'm going to let whatever grows, grows, and I'm also going to just willy-nilly throw wild sunflowers or wild, wild seeds in there. Isn't that going to be cool? So I will use that for that. Thank you. Oh, and the bunnies. The bunnies. Oh, how cute. I wish I could draw a bunny out of my creamer and my coffee. That is so sweet. Oh, and it's, I bet it's a sticker. Oh, and Easter's coming up. Oh, look at these cute little envelopes. Look at that bunny. Oh, my goodness. We had a bunny similar to that. He was solid white, but had that white, that black circle around his eye. And my older siblings, I was really little, like three or four. 
and we um, they named him Maybelline. Like he had mascara on him. Oh, 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 there it is. I see it now. Oh, look at all the bunnies. You know, I don't have any bunny cutouts, believe it or not. I should, but it, well, I do now. And a telephone. For the next time we talk on the phone. Oh, how sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. All things bunnies. Oh, that'll, ooh, that would go on a journal cover, wouldn't it? Cool. I knew that was a calendar cover. I just had a feeling. Oh, good. And some carrots to feed the bunnies. <laughs> How sweet. Everywhere I looked, things were growing all around me. Yes, that is so very true in my garden. Oh, I love all this. Oh, I'll use this all in my garden journal. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, messy. Yes, I am messy. Very messy. There, see? My sister, my mom probably called me Messy Missy growing up, and I know my sister still does sometimes. Let's see if I can fit this all back in this bag. So that's where that name came from. I don't think I was really that messy as a child. I just think it kind of worked with the name. So, but my, um, the only person that actually called me Missy, um, I've never been called Missy other than my grandfather. And I dearly loved him. And he called me Missy and got away with it. Because otherwise I never preferred it. But anyway, it's okay when he did it. But now I've grown to like Messy Missy. So, all right. Well, thank you. Put that back in there. One. That's so funny. Messy. Yes, be messy. Um... If I was well prepared, I would have something to stamp out this, you know, the prompt and the all the things like Allison does. But I get in here and I think I'm prepared and then I realize that I'm not. So, okay. So here are the prompts that I have to work with. Okay. And our word is friend. So in this envelope, we should have feather, rhinestones, Iris, envelope, newspaper, dictionary. All right. Make sure I got, okay. That's a thick envelope. Love that. That's so cute. Happy four week prompt. Oh, look at that gorgeous Iris. Look at that. Oh, and that pretty little dictionary page. Look how yellowed. Isn't it gorgeous? That is so pretty. I've never actually grown an iris. Oh, and this envelope. This is a slimline envelope. That's pretty fancy. I don't have any like that. <laughs> is it okay if I just keep the envelope, Allison? <laughs> I'll use it, I promise. Oh, and one of Allison's feathers. I forgot about these. Looky there. All right, and it matches, yay. And these are the rhinestones. Let me find where the little list go. Come on, Melissa, get it together. Rhinestones. And I know that because it's not a feather and it's not an iris and it's not an envelope and it's not a newspaper and it's not a dictionary. Okay, so this is the newspaper. All right, what do we have? Well, I don't know because I can't read it. All right, some good print. Okay, good deal. That looks like a great background. Now, to put this all together, I'm gonna set this to the side. Well, I know right off the bat, I'm, I'm seeing a tag in my near future. Now, just a matter of, let me see something first. Okay, I'm gonna set, this is gonna be last, so I'm gonna set it to the side. And I imagine this is going to be not last, but not first. So I'm gonna set it to the side. One, two, three, four, five. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Feather, rhinestones, iris, envelope, newspaper. Oh, dictionary. There it is. Okay. Got it. I wanted to see size-wise what I'm working with here. Can you see? Okay. Um, wait, first off, I need to see how this envelope fits in my journal. Because it's pretty big. Um, it is... If it's a slim one, it should be about eight and a half or eight and three quarters by, okay, it just does fit. So, do I use this side? Do I use this side? And I have not done background or anything, so. Uh, hmm. Well, if I use this side, I'm not going to be able to open it. That's always my dilemma with envelopes, by the way. I'm thinking I may have to cut it down. Let me see if I do it. I really like to do it this way. And have a tag in here and have a tag, open this in and have a tag in there. But this beautiful iris and the greenery around it would probably match. I'm going to start by cutting this out. That's a good place to start while I think and talk. Um, I need my other scissors. Mm, you may see them. Of course, if I clean my desk, that might help. Now, why would I do that? Uh, okay, big scissors it is. Wow, this is a lot of intricate cutting without having my little scissors. They'll turn up in a minute. Okay, so I'm just going to rough cut this. This is one of the, man, and I hate to cut that up. I already started. Wait a minute. Ah, let me rethink this. No, cause I have to use the newspaper, so. Because I bet this is out of the Edith Holden. Is this out of the Edith Holden? Oh, wait. Let's read this. I can't pronounce it. Ella Campaign. A robust perennial herb with a large branch tuberous root bearing one or several erect and branched softly hairy stems. Okay. I've never had her. I've never heard of that. I will have to look that up. Um... Let's see, used for ridding, it was once used for ridding children of pinworm and roundworm as also an ex expectorant, antitussive, diuretic, a cola, cola uh, whatever it is, antiseptic and tonic properties. Uh, nowadays it's mainly used for cough, bronchitis, lack of appetite and digestive orders. Wow. Huh, I'll have to look into that one. I do not have that one. Okay, so shoot I hate that I cut into that except I'm thinking <sighs> okay my first thought was I was going to cut this out because it looks like it would be beautiful on this envelope but if I have to cut the envelope down and then put the envelope in here but I'm kind of liking the thought of and if I do it this way and use this as a background because I love the feel of that paper. If I were to use that as a background, um, and then that way I get to keep it in its intact, um, I would probably tear it here and then put the words over there. But if I did this, I can still see enough of the iris and I get two smaller pockets I get to keep this side open. I could use half of that dictionary here and half of it here. Don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet. Oh, then the feather doesn't fit in the envelope. Um, I could use this for the background on the tags. Um, here, let's say if I cut or if I tore off a little of this, I could use it as a background on a tag. And then what? 
I would like to have this Mm, I'm just going to use the whole thing. Let me let me pretend for a second. Or as Tim Holtz, I think it's the, he calls this auditioning. Um, no, wow, I wish I hadn't cut that. Okay, quit saying that. Um, actually, that might not be horrible though, because if I cut that out if I fasten that envelope right there you'll never see that and then I can use these two flowers yeah I could use these two flowers on the front I have some other flowers I can play with too um yeah so I like that actually fits perfectly right there perfectly right there I don't know how you intended on me using all of this stuff but and this wasn't my initial intention but I'm thinking that that might work. And then I would just have to like, well, I don't even have to tear that down. Mm, okay, yeah, I do. Oh, that's right, this isn't the edge of my page. Okay, so let me, instead of cutting this, I'm gonna tear this right here, maybe. Let's see. Because either way I would have to do that. Well, I could actually tear it here. I hate to, um, hmm, I have a dilemma. I know I'm overcomplicating this, but that's okay. That That's what I do best. Okay, so if I do it this way, and, and, you know, sometimes it's just as the things that influence you sometimes or sometimes as simple as it being folded right there. Because then that looks like, oh, cool, double spread. And I can have a pocket this way and a pocket this way. And I still get to use these flowers, which I could have anyway. Um... And I'm, I'm afraid that if I do it this way or, you know, height-wise, I'm going to have to cut it down. I still would see the beautiful iris. Okay, I'm tearing this right here. I could leave some of the... Come on, get it together, woman. I'm going to tear it here. Whew. Okay. So that would leave me with just this one. Oh. Oh. But wait. Don't know that I want this red in here. I know I don't want somebody's face in there. Um, before I tear it, let me see what this would look like. Uh, and I could do it that way. And then have that green kind of at the top. I'm going to have to fold it. Because I am I was almost thinking about just gluing this down like that. Well, I would... Soy sauce. Okay, that's funny. I thought that said soy sauce. Okay. I thought that was the name of this newspaper. I was like, how cute is that? But it's the soy sauce, which is very clever. Okay. Just kind of trimming it down a little bit. See what I have to work with. I think I'm going to cut it there regardless. Or tear it there. All right, ready? I guess we don't get a second shot at this um, unless she's going to overnight me some more stuff. I doubt it. So, no, I don't. I'm trying to decide if I like that green up top or not. I guess it would be hidden anyway. 
other stuff that might be hidden. Okay. I'm going to do this right here. Mm, I might not be able to save that, that flower. I can save this one. I know I can save that one. And that's going to go on the front of that envelope. So I'm going to save that one. Uh, I just got to decide if I want to do a background or if I want to do just have that on the page. And I don't know if I have my inks and stuff in here. The I have green. Let me do, let me do a little bit of background on the, on the paper. Maybe it'll dry quickly. Uh, hang tight for just one second. Let me find some plastic. I was not prepared for, wasn't prepared for smushing. This might be a long video, y'all. I'm sorry. Because I'm going to overthink this. And Allison, you're probably watching going, oh, good grief, woman. Just put something on the paper. Okay. I can use this little plastic envelope that I have stuff in. All right. It'll come off. Okie dokie. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'll do a little bit of that, but I have some lighter green marker, watercolor marker. Because I was afraid this would be too dark. And I knew I didn't have a purple that would match that. I'm going to go ahead and take it all the way across. Just in case, let me erase my number up here. Okay. Let me shut the book, let it really smush together and find a paper towel. I guess it's different, and I'm just realizing this, it's different when it's your own stuff. Even if somebody picks out the prompts for you, I mean, you might not have an extra of a lot of things, you know. Um, but knowing that, um, you know, that we're supposed to use, the idea is to use these prompts. So it's like I'm I'm kind of nervous as far as like um messing that up. Okay. I have although that would probably be sufficient. I do have this light green. These are um watercolor markers. And I do have a distressed purple. Distressed marker in purple. I'm going to do a little bit. And see. I'm just a tiny, tiny bit. This envelope is not flexible enough. I don't like. I'm going to start it there. I just like to put the little tiniest little bits here and there. Okay, that might be too much, but that's what I did. And I'm going to try a little bit more. This is a, looks like to be maybe a blue or green. I almost wish I hadn't put that other on there. Um, that looks like to be a blue or green. Kind 
gonna do that with my finger rather than, that envelope didn't really fold all that great. So let me get just a different shade in here. Maybe, might work. Okay, it's working, I'm liking it. It'll do. I just wanted a hint of color because and I mean, I've got plenty of background stuff with this one. I'm just trying to choose which backgrounds go where. I have newspaper. I have this page could be focal point or background. I really was planning on this being focal. Uh, yeah, I just hope I'm not messing up by not using it on the envelope. But I just really see this envelope going this, this direction. Don't you? And then, because I could still go with the cut it down. My, oh, wait, I know what I could do. All right, one more big decision. I don't know if this will work, but. All right, I'm gonna cut it down enough. It's gonna have to be a focal point. Which, that's fine. I'll do that, too. I can do that, too. Okay, I was thinking that might go behind there, but maybe not. Um, okay, so that covered up most of that purple. I also have this that I tore out a page and glued it down and it's lifting, so I really kind of need, of course it had to be on this page, I kind of need something glued down there, so I'm kind of working around that a little bit. It's not a huge deal, you might not have even noticed it. Okay, the other option is to do this here, um, let's see, this is just another option. If I go use the whole envelope like that, I still like that on there though. Err. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Hmm. Do you hear Jeopardy music? I'm cutting it out. Yep, nice try, but I'm cutting it out. I gave it a valiant effort. I gave that other idea a valiant effort, but I'm just really seeing this behind that book page. And So the only way I'm gonna know is to cut it out and give it a go. I'm not sure if I wanna keep this green part with the root attached or use it in the background maybe. Okay, I'm still using that, though. Because I love that. Um, if everything fit on this one envelope, that my problem would not be, that would not be a problem at all. Okay, so after seeing this with this white background, and I, I there's no way I can cut all that. I guess if I cut out, yeah, if I cut the green away from it, I could get that down enough to where it would go on there with that. So that could be on the envelope. I could use, um, I still would have to cut down the envelope a good bit, maybe almost to the size of this dictionary page. And that would be on there. The the flower, maybe not this green part. 
And then I would have um, the feather could come out from behind it, or I'm kind of seeing, I don't know what that, okay. Um, I'm kind of seeing the feather in the pocket. That's kind of what I'm seeing. Or, of course, that matches that too. Huh, that's out of a map, uh, map page. Isn't that cool? Um, rhinestones are last. What else? What am I missing? That, um, newspaper. Where did it go? I think that's the part I'm struggling with. Um, I know I want this on this page, but it can go on this page right here. Oh, how did I lose that newspaper? Because, see, if I have this on this envelope like this, and I almost think I like it on the outside better. I could actually just glue this down to the page. Okay, I've lost that um, newspaper. No, I didn't. Right here. Ooh, we're 30 minutes into this video and I haven't made any decisions yet, y'all. Well, I can put... I think out of this, I like this. I don't think I like this, that, the, the advertisement part. I like the writing. So let me eliminate that out of my visual dilemma. And I mean, I guess this could go on this side. It doesn't all have to go. I'm trying to figure out how to use the newspaper, the dictionary, and the thing. Obviously, duh, use one on a tag, right? And I could have, you know what? And I'm sure that she was thoughtful enough. Yes, of course. She gave me the dictionary page that says friend. And yes, I noticed. So I'm trying not to cover that up. I could. Let's see. Too many things to work with here. Let me go back to this option for just a second. Let me put this. Let me just try this out. Let me audition it for a second. Kind of like that. Because on, I'll be honest with you, it doesn't matter if this is upside down or sideways. I can't personally read it. And actually, it's probably, even if it's words that I can read, sometimes it's better if they're upside down anyway. So, I like that. And if I have the... I'm trying just not to cover it up completely, though. Because that's what I was also thinking, is if I have the envelope like this, then that kind of puts that in the background. And then I have my friend dictionary page and my feather. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I did make this decision though. I'm, I'm whittling down some decisions. I'm getting there. I did make that decision. Put that to the side. I'm gonna actually save this because I needed a foreign language the other day and I did not have one. Well, I did have one, but I only had one option, and I was struggling using that little card, that little Russian card I had. Okay. I guess I'm going to have to do away with that idea. Um, I kind of like this over here, and then I can run washi. I am going to have to cut this down. If I cut that down, I can use this in the background, although I really like the dictionary with it. Um, this is, well, hold on a second. Looky here. Collage dummy. Collage. Duh. I 
I'm gonna see if I can cut this. Oh, I scared. Let me start from this side so I can actually see. I'm gonna see if I can cut this green away from this. Ooh, it's probably not gonna work, is it? Let's see if I can cut it closer. I'm trying to get some of this white off of here. Because I really want to use that dictionary and this white is really throwing me off. I don't have my, oh, I might actually have some of my inks in here. Really didn't want to have to edit the video, but I can. If I have to go get it. Of course, as long as this is taking me to make decisions, you're probably wishing I would edit this video and edit this out. That just depends. Um, let me know, Allison, let me know if that is from that Edith Holden. Isn't it Edith Holden? Um, I've never had one of those pages before. I've never had one um, I've never had one of her books, let alone, or, or any of the pages. But from what I've seen, that's what it looks like. Or it's very similar. Okay. I'm whittling away at this a little bit. Because I was thinking if I could, if I did cut the iris off from the green part, I could um, overlap them a little bit. I would still use the greenery, but it would narrow it up a little bit so I could fit it on that envelope. It's close. It's very close. But I'm just trying to do it with a little bit of border. Um, just for the record, though, I think the prompts that I sent you, Allison, I don't think I made you fussy cut. Just saying. Okay, let me see if this helps at all, whether it's on the dictionary. Yeah. Yeah, that definitely helps. I'm trying to visualize if this was overlapping this. Hmm. And then I could collage like the background with a little bit of this and the dictionary, I think. Ouch. Ooh, this stool's getting the best of me. Um, This is so beautiful. I hate to keep hacking at it. I'm just afraid of what this this side is going to look like. Well, maybe it won't matter because I'll overlap the flower all the way over this. Because this green leaf right here isn't going to be... It's going to be cut. Okay, this might end up being my first hour and a half video. Let's see. I think we're on we're on an okay track. Now, I just had to kind of try some things out before I cut up the stuff. I um did not anticipate being nervous about cutting the stuff up or this iris up mainly. that kind of caught me off guard. So I still have some trimming to do, but yes, that's going to work nicely. Okay. Phew. I was worried. Cause that, that's what kept throwing me. I mean, initially I planned on this going in front of that dictionary page. Um, but the white background kept really throwing me off. Okay, so I can cut these little roots off. 
and just have the stem and it's so pretty. This is almost like the same um, bluish purple that the, like a hydrangea. That real soft. Let's see. I don't wanna get too froggy here and end up really boogering it up. Boogering it up, that's a technical term. Meaning to mess up beyond repair. Alrighty, if I have my little scissors, this might be a little easier. And I knew I was going to be fussy cutting, so that's just my fault for not having them ready. Whew. Okay. I'm not, I'm not going to try to cut that, I don't think. Okay. No, because that actually, that white part hides where I cut that. Okay. So that narrowed it up a little bit. I don't know if I want all this root in there, but I'm not going to worry about that right this second. Alrighty. Now, back to the regularly scheduled program. See how much, well, I think it looks better because you can see more of the, the book page. I don't have to use that root. I can cut that off if I want and just have the greenery. Or I can cut like a little bit of the root off if I want it shorter, you know, shorter, longer, taller, whatever. Um, so I can do this. I can have this. This was my original thought on this. Um, I'm probably going to trim down a little bit, although I really hate to do that. Um, and I don't actually have to. Let me think. Uh, I think if I cut it up the middle and overlap it, you'd never be able to read that anyway. And I could keep the sides or I could just trim off of, I'll just, I'll just trim them. I'll trim them down. I think and this goes on here. Okay. So that, that's the envelope, the new, the dictionary and, and the, and then of course I could put rhinestones on it. Um, I still have to decide what I'm going to do with this. Unless I choose to cut down part of this and use this behind and have everything on the envelope. But I don't think I really want to do that. I'm thinking that I want this cluster. I'm going to um, like washi it into the side page here. And then I can either, actually I could do both and keep it all on one page. I can use some of this newspaper back here in the background and I can have this that tells about, oh, 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 yes. And then I can have the, ah, oh, that's white. That's all right. Um, I can put it like that and I can have the background be that paper. I know that I'm supposed to have this newspaper in this background though. Let me see if I can get it behind the dictionary. Of course, all that little background I just did isn't even going to be seen, but that's okay. Um, and I can put this back here. I just kind of want to keep it just in case I wanted to read it. That That's really just for my, my use. And I could put it on the back of this envelope. Um, I'm still going to have to cut this down, so I guess I should go ahead and decide how much I'm going to have to cut it down. Uh, and then I wanted, okay, let me go back to this for a second. I wanted that, and then I want this here, I think. So that uses my newspaper, the envelope, the dictionary, the iris. Oh, I haven't used the feather. That's right. Oh, oh, oh. 
I'm going to use the feather in the tag. So that's going to dictate how tall um, or how short I cut down the envelope because I want it to be seen. I want it to stick out, but I don't want it too far out of my book because it'll get messed, it'll get boogered up. So, if I use this whole dictionary page, then I probably would cut the envelope. I don't want to cut this envelope. Can you tell? That's a really cool envelope. And somebody who makes, as as someone who makes slimline cards, um, I don't want to cut this envelope. Because <laughs> the only slimline card envelopes that I have are just boring white and cream and craft so now i said i had to cut the envelope let me find a little hole punch or a, a circle punch real quick i'll be give me just a second they're in a in a basket to my left right here oh found something else too i have tabs. Those are not on my list, but they match. Okay. So, where are we at with this? So, we need to trim this down. We're making decisions now. Yes, we are. I liked that torn it, that naturally torn edge, though. but I think my eye needs a little bit of this green border. Um, what, what's my problem? Good gracious. Couldn't figure out which hand I wanted the paper in and which hand I wanted the ruler in. Friend. Okay. See, that fits perfectly right there. <sighs> okay, I should have done a live. I wish we'd have been able to do a live. That would have been a fun ending to the month challenge. And then you could tell me, should I cut the root off or not? Um, I'm going to start trimming it a little bit more. And... See what of this white I can get off. You know, it's funny. There's always been, and, and it's the same way with the, the Margaret Miller ones. It seems like there's always one prompt you struggle with. Um, unless we have our husband's pick, and then we struggle with all of them. Or almost all of them. Okay, I don't think we need all this fibery goodness right here to get this this point across. I think um, for collage purposes, it's not necessary. There. I think it's just background noise. Isn't that way better? Way better, way better. Way better, way better. I was still trying lime to keep friend right here. Okay, I can. Because you know why? You know what? No, darn it. I was going to have it hanging off this side right here. Mm, I still can. Okay. Let me whack it this one more time. Last time. I'm just, I just want more of the dictionary page to show through. I love that vintage look with the coloring on this, um, the, the coloring that's on this flower and stem. And it really detracts from it with that white background. I'm definitely not cutting that one out. I said I wasn't cutting the other one either, but I just wanted to be able to see more of this page. So, okay, I'm gonna glue this, this dictionary page onto this envelope. 
And then I'm going to cut. Oh, that's not true. Do I cut the whole together? Yeah, I'll just cut the whole together. Okay. Glue stick. Glue stick. Here we go. No. Right here. All right. Speed up, woman. Because I'm, I'm loving this part. Okay. Good deal. And I could put this on the back of here. And I might end up doing that. But I kind of want it to be seen with the collage. Um, if that's at all possible. Now I'm going to... I thought about doing this individually so that I would have the border on the... can't talk and punch at the same time. Just so I'd have, if I'd have done them individually, I probably could have had a little bit of that green border around there, but that I, that would just complicate things a little too much. Okay, so there's no reason that I have to stay on this page, on this envelope. No reason whatsoever. And there's nothing, there is nothing saying that this envelope has to flap. It can just be on this page. Hmm. Okay. I like it just like it is. Do I have to use the newspaper? I like my background a little bit. Oh, but wait. But wait. I know where I'm putting the newspaper. I keep forgetting that I know where I'm putting the newspaper. Okay. Okay. Not gluing this down yet because I'm trying to decide how far over I want it. I want it to run off the thing so that the fringe shows. So I can. I'll keep whittling. Okay. I'm going with the, the assumption that I may not um, that I might not put I might not flap this. I might just glue it onto the page. So I have that newspaper in the background. I could use it on the tag and I still can because I have more of it. Um I think, I can't remember, Allison, I can't remember how you use these feathers. Because my inclination is to want to fluff it up. But if I use it and put it in that envelope, it's not going to stay. But if I tuck it behind here, is that wire going to, um, assuming I could cut, trim that wire if I needed to. Not sure I want to yet, but let me straighten it up at least. And then, then I can fluff these up. And bada bing, bada boom, maybe. And then the tag is irrelevant. Um, I can have a tag or not have a tag. I mean, I might as well have a tag, right? Um, let's see. Look at how wide this is. It should be about four and a half um, wide. Uh, okay, four. That um, four a little right at four. Okay, and. How long? Six and a half, seven and a half. Okay. Oh, so I need about four. Yeah. Okay. 
and I have this paper right here. Kind of a wood grain paper. We can use our own supplies in this too, right? I'm assuming. Okay. To add to it, we didn't ever really set rules, but I think I bumped you. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, fixing to go over an hour. I'm sorry. Incredibly sorry. Okay. Okay, probably need to trim that down a hair, but. Um. More ambulances, oh my goodness. Actually, I'm gonna use this. And. Ah, I'm gonna tear it. Good job, Ace. Okay, well, going organic here. Okay. Because, nope, that's going to bug me. Mm, there. Maybe, nope, now she's upside down. Well, good grief, girl, get it together. Alison, I know that you're laughing at me. I can hear you. I really can. Um, we really should have talked and got our story straight. <laughs> Y'all, we really have not. Um, this has really been, I mean, the only exception to that is I did last week because I got my video out late because I was sick. I did get... Um, I feel like this is a... I did see her prompts before I made my video, but I did not watch the actual video. Um, so, we've done this kind of blind. I've Okay, here's my dilemma. Here's what I'm struggling with now. I feel like if I put this behind here, I kind of like it, but I feel like if I'm putting it behind here, I'm wasting the feather. Does that make sense to anybody other than me? Let me pull this out because that's just distracting me. Um, does that make sense to anybody? But if I use it in the... Oh. oh. I just discovered something. How pretty is that? I just don't want to use the feather because I want to play with it. You're going to have to send me another one. Or, I mean, heaven forbid, I probably could watch your video and make one, maybe. Oh, why would I do that? Because that would make too much sense, right? Um, if I keep the feather in the pocket... Then I get to play with it. <laughs> I get to take it out and play with it. And I love this. I love that. I'm very happy with that. Um, and then we got to add some rhinestones. Lordy mercy. Another decision. Um, Um, I know what I was going to do. I forgot. I almost forgot. 
I was going to put this flower on something. And I had, yeah, yeah, I still get the little flap. Um, here it is. And I still wanted this. So I might have to trim that down. I don't need that. Okay, so as soon as I know where I'm putting this, then I'll glue the, the iris down. If you're going, what, when are you ever going to glue that down? If that's what you're thinking, then give me just a minute. I want it to save that because I want to read it later. So it can even just go on the back of here um, because I, I, I legitimately want it. I want to be able to read it later. Um, glue stick. But, nope. Okay, so this is just for my use. I can do that later, okay. Um, if I have this here, then, sorry, Feather, you keep getting kicked out. You keep getting evicted. I'm going to trim it just a hair. decided in my in my life that I'm a better idea person I I do very well with ideas I can see things in my head I can you know even when I made things I would create things that you know had I hadn't seen before I hadn't you know and and that was my strong suit putting it together was a different story that was just a totally different ball of wax and so I would make things like when I had an antique shop or when I was a vendor in, a, in, in an antique shop, I would make things for the other vendors to use in their, um, in their booths or their displays or their whatever. Um, I was capable of making the same things because like when we refinished furniture, um, I would make stencils and different things that they could use to like shabby chic or do the French, you know, the ooh la la um, topography on them. And I, I'm the one that taught some of them how to do that, but yet I struggled actually doing it. I had all the stuff, I had the knowledge, I had the all the things because I made all the things. But I found that my place was in a supporting role. I did better when I was making stuff for them behind the scenes. And so I think the same as this, you know, the collage, you know, doing the prompt challenge, doing the whatever, and I'm enjoying it right now. I'm a little stressed only because, and the only reason why I'm stressed is because I know that I've run the video too long. That's the only reason why I'm stressed. So other than that, I'm having fun playing. So I'm just playing at your expense if you're still watching at this point. I mean, cause you know, if you've watched the first part, there is a chance you might actually like to see how it turned out. Um, which I mean, you have the option of fast forwarding at any point in time. And I know that. So that's not that big of a deal. But that's the only reason why I'm stressing. Cause other than that, I'm having a good time. Um, and hopefully you're, you're crafting and you're doing something right along with me. And 
you are okay and, and and you're being occupied you know you're just listening while you cry while you work in your journal or you know that you know now that the word is friend and some of you could already have your page is done by the time I finish my page. But I really would love for y'all to try um, having someone send you your prompts. Not just give you the prompts. Like the second week, she and I exchanged prompts, but not the physical material. This week, we actually mailed each other the stuff that you have to use. And I think that was the reason for the nerves a little bit. You know, because if it's something you have, chances are you have more than one of them. And in this case, I didn't, you know, that was not the case. Okay, so I think either way I go, I think I've now realized that this is going to live here. So I can at least tack him down enough. I don't have to keep chasing him all over this page. I like him running off the edge of the paper, or off the edge of the envelope, rather. Yep, okay. Wait a minute, I think I can get a smidge of glue right there. Okay, oh, maybe this little guy wants to be glued down too. Maybe. Y'all, I have been practicing driving. Um, I went, got to a big parking lot and I actually got to practice driving yesterday. I was so excited. That's such a big deal. It's been over a year and a half. Not two years, but over a year and a half. All right, so I got that glued down, got that all glued down. Oh, wait, but wait. Okay. Okay. And that hid that little hole I cut out of that thing, too. There. And this is, I'm loving this. I mean, I could collage with this, this stuff all day long. Um, it's just throwing something else that's a different color. I struggle with the antiqued look. I struggle using white in with it because it's so stark. I do have some tea-stained... Um, I have this, but this distress stain and tea dye, and I could have done that. I could have done that with this background. It wouldn't have dried in this length of time of the video. I guess I could have cut the video in two and done it that way. But look, now I have more, um, foreign language. Oh, I was going to cut this and I can do this later, um, with my small scissors. I'm not hundred percent sure what I'm going to do with it. But I think I'm going to put it, I don't know if I'm going to put it on here or use it, you know, somewhere else. But anyway, I can finish that one later. Oh, I still need rhinestones and I still need to figure out what I'm going to do with this feather. Okay, so because I'm, I'm happy with this the way it is. Now, I think it doesn't have to be actually part of that collage because what I really think I might like is having this over here because my friend sent it to me and my friend made it for me but it needs to be on the same page i do believe rules are rules are rules and i like it right there just make the decision um i'm only going to tack the center of it i'm only going to glue the like right down the center because then i can still play with the little fringy thingies There. Let's see. Is it going to stick? Sure. And then I can even overlap some of these. And we can fluff. And I don't have any wire cutters on me. 
I'm going to have to probably, well, I can tuck that behind there. Otherwise, I'm going to have a hard time gluing this envelope down. Okay. I think that helps because that way there's enough of it sticking out that it makes sense to me. Okay. Alrighty. So now I can glue this down and I can be almost done. You're like, almost done, you say? Um, I could have left that open and I don't need another one. I don't, I have no need for another pocket. Just glue it down, woman. Just glue it down. Let's see. Glue it down straight. That would be nice. Uh, trying to decide how much of this I want under there. <laughs> okay. That's pretty for... Ooh. Yeah, I do have to get a wire cutter, though. I do think, I do think. Okay. Now I can put this over here. I don't even see the purple that I put in there. Well, I've got a little bit back here. I can add a couple more little splashes if I want. And I have this over here. Now, I don't know what else is going to go on this page. That's why I thought about making this a flip so that I could put, you know what? No, I want it on, at least for the, when I take a picture, I want it on the thing, but I can put it, I can put it in here. There we go. It's tucked in there. All right. Let me pull it back out because I'm going to take a picture of it and put it right there there's the week four well let me oh no 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 hold on but wait but wait i'm sorry i forgot the blingy parts more decisions oh dear uh-oh oh right here I was like, I really lost them. How did I lose them? <sighs> okay. You're going to laugh. You're going to laugh. I don't have my little jewel picker in here. Oh, come on. I have a thing for this. I have a tool for that. Just like you have an app for that, I have a tool for that. Okay. And that. And then I'm sure I can find a place for two to put them. Almost look like I'm trying not to put them on the flower, if you're wondering what in, what in the world is making me go in the corners like this. Um, it almost looks like it's posted, you know, like an old sign, maybe. That, I don't want to say nails, but you know what I mean. Almost looks like a posted sign. Um, I'm trying not to put them on the flower, and the feather, if you can't see it, already has glitter all over it. And, and kudos to you, Allison, because I do not have glitter all over me, so... Okay, I didn't have to use all the rhinestones, right? Now, ta-da, we have week number four. This is the final um, of the February prompts. Um, she and I are talking about what we're going to do next, and we will let you know. I would have liked to have been able to give you that information on this video, but we've, um, with both of us being sick last week and you know, she just busy at work and, you know, the, all, the, all the things. So we just haven't had a chance to connect. So, there. There, I like my little sign. And um, anyway, so we will get back with you on that. But I'm sure we will do it again. It's just whether or not we do it in March. Um, if we need a break, then we'll skip March and do April. But um, 
I'm not really sure. I know we had already talked about the potential of knowing what, what prompt words we'd use. So we may very well do it. Um, but as of right now, this is the final. And as they say, <laughs> oh, I went to the casino recently, you can tell. They, they do that on the tables. But anyway, all right, here is my week four page. And I will see you on the next page. Bye.